follow these people. I just find it sort of hypocritical and funny that someone's going to say, you know, I don't know. Helen, here, here's the deal. Helen called me a couple weeks ago, uh, basically saying, you know, Aaron, you, Aaron listens to you. There's a lot of hate on Twitter. Actually, let me just get this. Shelly K66. Shelly, I don't know why you hate me, but you, girl, you hate me so bad. Okay. You are not, okay. Why do you not follow some of your real hardcore fans? Because I don't have to follow them because if they're talking to me, they tag me and then I see it anyways. I really, I only follow like other celebrities. That's it. You know, to see like, what album is dropping and other BB fans. I don't want to, to be honest with you, and I'm sorry to sound like an asshole, but I don't follow too many um, fans because then I feel like my my inbox will be like inundated with things and people like involve you and like, and like issues that sort of like not something I want to get involved in. So I still pay attention to my fans and whenever they tag me, I make the best effort to respond to everybody and, um, you know, that's it. But Shelly, stop hating on me, girl. Damn. Hold on. I got a text from my sister. Oh, she's sending me pictures of the new crystal bracelets that I got in. My self, self promoting. I don't know if you can really see it. They're super pretty. Um, life discussion who life discussion who you're obviously a hater um why do you think america hates me i don't think america hates me i think that i was i was a very strong player in the game i think a lot of people hate me but i think with every person who is um a public personality there everybody has haters so I've just gotten used to it I'm not really uh, I don't think I'm a bad person maybe I am I don't know but uh, you need to get like a real avatar woman because I don't like talking to this face like Sim City you picture said, I could come to you if you like the app is always a good time unless you want to go somewhere else I do not want to go to Meisner Meisner's always nice and classy and upscale. I'd say, I'd rather not go on the Ave. No, don't even say that. Be like, uh, say, I'm so sick of the Ave. Uh, I would, I really would, uh, I'm so sick of the Ave. Let's go to Meisner. I said, where do you work? I'm going to ask somebody else in Boca. Okay, life discussion. I'm not answering you anymore. That was, you're, you're done. Um... I felt you played an evil dick style game last season, which is a good thing. You know who messaged me on Facebook, left me a long message, is um, Eric Stein from season eight. This is really recently, and he basically said that um, he really admired my gameplay and that um, he thought that it was like very similar to him, his, which I think that Eric would have gone way further in his season if he wasn't uh, America's player. And I really liked him. I thought he was super cool. But I appreciated that from him. I get a lot of um, previous BB players reaching out to me. Emmett just twit messaged me. So, okay. Hold on. Well, I guess he's not picking me up. He's saying, come to you. He just said he lives, I'm in Boca off Lions and Clint Moore. Maybe he's just saying, like... That's where he lives. I asked him. Oh. So what do you, why did you say he's not picking you up, then? Well, because when he said, I could come to you if you like, the Ave... I didn't call myself a celebrity. I called myself a public personality. Get it right. Okay. Should I say I need a break from the Ave anywhere else? No, why don't you just... Why don't you suggest Meisner? Meis like, where else are you going to go? Meisner. Or the new marketplace. Yeah, but at least if you go to Meisner, then after dinner, can I like block these people? 
let me see. I think if I block them on my Twitter, I won't be able to see them. Um, Jami one, thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Um, I would totally play Big Brother again, by the way. If I got the opportunity to go back, which honestly, every Big Brother player thinks that, um, they're going to be invited back. I don't, I'm not going to live my life like waiting for it, but I think that would be freaking awesome. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, if you're going to, like, analyze every word that I say, then you don't have to be here. You know what the funny thing is? Is that if I hate somebody, I block them, and I, like, don't follow them. But people who, like just want to bash on me all day long, follow me, and then when I do, like, a twit cam, they come to it to talk to them. I'll talk to you. What do you want? Um, Sanjay Party Hard, what would you change strategy-wise if you went back? I mean, should I tell you, or, like, if I go back, is that ruining everything? Um... change well first of all I'd be very more mindful of um, things that I said I know now what's appropriate to say and what's not and um, game wise you know big brother you you can go in with a strategy but it really is all about the dynamic of you and the people who you play with so um, when you align with somebody, it's about reading how well you trust them. You have to be able to read people well, I think. I think the people who win Big Brother are people who are either really freaking nice and they float to the end, or people who are really, really well at reading people. And obviously people who are good at winning competitions because that, in the end, makes a huge difference. Um, Okay, let's see. Shelly K, 66, you are an old woman. Why are you always on Twitter harassing a 28-year-old girl? That's like really Second pathetic. Out, she's in Boca. I work until 6 on Thursday. Um, why? So then he, because, I mean, to meet up for dinner or whatever, I I can't either I have to go straight from work or it can't be until a little bit later. Make it later. Like, yeah, yeah. like he should pick you up. You're not going to meet him there. Uh, I'm aware. So what should I say then? Um, just be like, I, I'm work at 6. I'll, I'll like, uh, I need to like go home and like freshen up. So maybe you can meet me at my house around like 8, 7.45, 8. Does that sound good? Okay. You up. super stressful when I was there so um, 
yeah, I don't really, the funny thing was that when I was like, It's it's not easy. It's not easy watching the show. I'm gonna pray. Yeah, I'm a Queen Bitch, do you watch any of the other BBS that are on? BBS? Thanks, Johnny One. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, I know that um, Rachel told uh, Eric and John from Reality Recaps that she was like, preparing for Big Brother all sorts of the amazing race. So I'm like, oh, I was like, I'm working out my arm and my gullet. Uh, I went to school for theater, New York Onyx, so we, I had an improv class there, uh, so. Housewives. And? Vanderpump. Yeah. Isn't there something else? And Kardashian, a new Kardashians. Yeah, those three, that's it. That's cool. Thanks, Janie. She's just my friend, I don't wanna. Um, okay, let's see what else. I don't understand what I did that was so bad that like receives like, like people who are so mean. Like, I know I was a bitch and I said, like, shitty things, but didn't didn't everybody do that? I don't know. Mm. Watching Girls. Not Orange is the New Black, but I am watching Girls. No, I see you, Max Jacks one. Am I blocked or something? I see ya. Okay. Shake not a mm. I don't watch Survivor. But I am hanging out with Hayden. Soon. I'm gonna go to Disney or something. I don't really know. He's expecting it together. Um, who would you want to go on All Stars with? Uh, Aaron. Aaron would be awesome to go on All Stars with because she'd fucking win everything. She'd be awesome. Um, let's see. Okay. Jenny, can you talk about Andy's alcoholism for my beauty book? Andy won five hundred thousand dollars, and he doesn't need to work. So all he can do, all he needs to do, is like party for a little bit. He's only twenty six. Who cares? I'm drinking. I don't think he's an alcoholic. I just think he's trying to have fun. Um. Would you rather do All Stars or The Amazing Race? All Stars, for sure. Um, let's see. I don't think. Okay, here's here's a challenge for people who really really hate me. Tell me why what I did to you personally. So I can address it. Uh, so maybe we can, because unless you like really love to like continue to like spew hate, that's just really not my style. So, um, un him. unheard words. What do you think of David's tweets? Um, I think that he's not on Twitter anymore. 
last that I saw. I thought that his, I didn't really get his tweets. I thought they were sort of like weird. Let me see. I don't know if he's still on anymore. What was his Twitter? Do you know three people asked me about Reality Rally today? And Emmett just asked me about it too. I don't know. I didn't even like. I agree, Danny. It's stupid to live off winnings drinking. I tell Andy that he should invest in a property and buy something from me. So, I mean, it's the least that he can do. Shawnee Meister, I see you. So you can tell me why you don't don't like me. Okay. Um, I don't dislike Alyssa. Uh, we love Brentel wants to know. Oh my God, it's going fast. If you're in All Stars with Alyssa, will you target her because of her past? No. I, me and Alyssa got along for most of the of the show. So I don't know. It it honestly it depends on on who's there and the dynamic and I'm sure she'll target me. Um, I heard that, that, uh, they said that they won't do it if I'm on it, but I don't really care. Um, attacking the kids is why I got mad at you. PJ, P Jones 102. Okay. I'll address this. Attacking the kids. Um, I wasn't attacking the kids. When me and Alyssa were arguing, I nothing about her children. What I said is I thought it was fucked up, per se, because she'd only talk about, she has, her husband has two kids, and she has her, uh, a kid, and they got married like a year ago, and she only spoke about Riley. So I was being a nasty bitch, and I was trying to get under her skin, like we all did to each other. And I was telling her how it was fucked up that she never spoke about her um, her other two kids that her husband had, and she only spoke about children ever. Um, I'm sorry, but that's just not what happened. Mm. Life discussion. You need to like figure something out because you're just like being a weirdo. Okay. Um, no, John, I don't think that's what the deal. I don't honestly, if I can tell you, Alison Grodner is not going to listen to demands of because whether they're, thousand Twitter followers or not it's not I mean Big Brother gets what like seven to ten I don't know million viewers what's a hundred thousand people on Twitter who are probably still watch she said KK that's good okay Shawnee Meister game postseason okay tell me what it was PJ Jones, P. Jones, I just answered your question. I'm telling you exactly what happened. I was there. I don't speak badly about children. That's just not my my style. I would never do that. So um, you're getting me mixed up with somebody else or somebody you missed. Said anywhere in particular, or should I just decide? Um, be like, I'll let you take the reins. I shouldn't say it surprises. Uh, yeah. Surprise me? Did I say that? Um. Or all the. Yeah. This time. Yeah. All right. Life discussion. Time. Unless you can like communicate like a normal human being, I'm just. I just. I'm not gonna pay attention to you anymore. You're just. Like I can, If you have a problem, you can like bring it to my attention and I'll answer it. But you're just not. You're acting like a four year old. Okay, you air house guest stuff on Twitter and everyone blows up my feed. Keep it private. Okay, Shawnee Meister. You
first got off Twitter, to be honest with you, I wasn't used to what's okay to say, what's not okay to say. I just kind of like get off my chest. I didn't understand. Like I didn't know. I realize that for like everything that I say, whether it's truthful or not, they're going to have repercussions. So um, you're right. But um, let's see. Are you going? other people to see like what's like don't you don't you want the truth about things like I there's trust me there's a lot of things that I've, I've learned and I'm not saying anymore but I don't think that's a reason to like really hate somebody because they're telling the truth about something unless they're telling the truth about somebody who you would rather not know the truth about I don't know um okay Danny, you're naughty. I like you though. Um, dirt and gossip. Here's something I'd like to tell you. Here's a secret. 99% of the time, if you have some sort of an inclination on Twitter, like you're getting a feel from a certain house guest that something's going on, or you know, someone blocks someone and it means something, it probably does. But nobody wants to address it. No, Janny, did you just see that other hater who hated me from gossiping and, and spreading dirt? Like, what am I supposed to do about that? What's David's tweets? We love Brunchel. I thought David isn't even on. Um... I just got my response from Reality Rally. Okay. Reality Rally turned down um, Gina Marie. That's funny that I just got this. I'll share it with you guys. I'm sure that'll be interesting. So Reality Rally is a charity, and um, I raised a lot of money for charity this year, and um, I was just asked by a whole bunch of people if I was going. Uh, I know that uh, the person who organizes Reality Rally is really close with some other house guests, and um, I just got my response from them. Let's read what it has to say. Dear Amanda, thank you for your interest in Reality Rally. Due to the sensitive nature of the controversy surrounding Big Brother 15 and the unacceptable behavior exhibited, regrettably, we are unable to offer you a place in our star lineup. This decision is not an easy one to make, but it is reached through a thorough and thoughtful review of each applicant for Reality Rally. With a we are always mindful of how our charity are represented in the public eye. This has been our stand since our first event and by which we continue to abide. As a nonprofit organization, Reality Rally has an obligation to always do what's best for our charity, what's best for their charity. I raised $1,500 on one t-shirt in 24 hours, what's best for the charity, um, as well as our sponsors. We are committed to maintaining the highest degree of integrity and all of our dealings with potential current and past participants. All parties involved share a responsibility for the best and proper interests of our charity and sponsors. Reality Rally is committed to providing a safe, supportive and positive image and environment for our stars, volunteers and public. We strive to create a climate of dignity and respect free from abuse, offense, offensive and harassing behavior. This can only happen when everyone attending has conducted themselves in a socially and professionally acceptive manner that is reflected well in their reputation and public image. These decisions are never easy. We event producer of Reality Rally. No, it's just a mess. Look at it right now. 
so there's that. Uh, yes, it is because Alyssa and Rachel are going. They're strong. They've strung on me and McRae um, out of a lot of things. Alyssa and Rachel um, didn't want me to do the Mertz interview, the April Dick interview, not be in the holiday video. And they're close with the reality. Reality. That's the reason why. And they also, yeah, they also said that they won't do big, the next Big Brother All Stars if um, me and Mertz. But I really don't think that they would take that into consideration. But that sucks because that's for charity. But I don't know, whatever. Charity loses money. I think I've raised more money than any of the house season. I think it's a done. I have a smidge of it. I have a few ideas already. That's good. That's what I say. Um, hold on, I'm sending that to McCray. Um, what are you uh, should I say I'm excited or should I just say? Uh, say, uh, say cool, let me know. I'll keep it free. What were you just saying? Um, there's this thing called Reality Rally that like a whole bunch of like reality people um, were uh, are going to. It's for a charity, and um, and you raise money and you go there and like so like if you raise four hundred dollars that like pays for the flight to go there. And I even waved that I said like if I raise four hundred dollars like I put it towards the charity. But then I just got a response that um, for the image of the charity. No, I got turned down from real. No, the the Rileys are like best friends with the girl. I spoke to Mertz today. He told me it was gonna happen. So. I'm not really surprised, to be honest with you. Marie was also made uh, so-called racial comments. That no, that's why they t they turned her down. Yeah, of course. Like, they tell Aaron she could go. What? I bet they didn't tell Aaron she could go either. She didn't even apply. So I, I knew that they were going to turn me down because Gina Marie called me today telling me that they turned her down, and she was, like, super upset about it. And I was like, that's so – that sucks, you know? It's not – it's everybody like, you know, screws up. It doesn't like it's for charity that like Gina Marie will make people want to meet Gina Marie. Like she would make money. So I was like, I'm going to apply. I have to send that to Gina Marie. That's funny. Um, yeah, Janny, I was turned down because of um, the image from Big Brother, as per the email. But I have been strong-armed out of other things due to certain people, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was the reason. Using the show as a cop out, I truly believe it's post show antics. I haven't said anything racist or like bullying or bigoted whatsoever, so I don't 
I don't really know. Okay, the reason why I said the rallies had something to do with it was because um, uh, good friends of them told me that they are strong arming us. If they want to know facts, they told Reality Recaps that if me and McCray were in that holiday video, that going to be in. And Rachel. Rachel told Evil Dick before my interview that uh, if we talk about them, that uh, they won't do their interview next. Then they screwed up their interview. Evil Dick. Then They, they said that they wouldn't do another season if me and McCray are on it. Which, honestly, I don't think that we did anything, like, I think Evil Dick was, it like, more, was worse to Rachel than I was to anybody. I don't know. It's, it's like, it's, like, ridiculous. It's over. Um. Than me, oh my show ever. She's super entertaining, whether you love her or you hate her, and she has like a really big following. So um, that's why they have more pull. It's like I mean, I, I was on reality television for the first time six months ago. So I don't know. Um, I agree with you, Dan Dill Genry. Uh, I think McCray would be much more liked if he wasn't with me. So you win that uh, argument. Jenny, you really think that she's going to confirm that? I mean, you can try. I don't think McCray would be much more liked if he wasn't with you. I think so. Like, he's so sweet. And then, like, he... He's not. Yeah, but like in the like in like the way that they edited us, the only reason why he gets a bad rap. I think that the only reason he gets a bad rap uh he was with me. Like he you know what I mean? Like he's just he was very like Yeah, but he wouldn't have even gotten anywhere near that far if he wasn't with you. No, it's not about getting far. It's about being liked or disliked. Like, if it was, I really think, honestly, like, if he wasn't with me, he would have been, like, America's favorite or something like that. Because no. he was just, like, Where? from, like, weird. Everybody thought he was weird. He wasn't weird. Everybody thought he was weird. Aaron, before I came in the read. That was entertaining. My dad just texted me. I really hope you're not starting crap on Twitter. I'm not, Dad. Cray is liked. I don't hold what you. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I have like a really awareness. But I didn't think that. I mean, I think I did some shitty. I'm like all around like a horrible person. Um, mm -hmm. When you were saying things in the house, did it occur to you that it might be bad, Danny? Um. I think that since I was never a live feeder, that I didn't, I just like quickly, just like, mm -hmm. like was just so honest. And, and um, I think that in my heart, like I had hatred towards anyone inappropriate from a place of hate, so, um, I didn't, honestly, like, I didn't, I thought that I knew getting out of the house just from, um, just, uh, from, like, with Julie's question, I knew that I was going to get, like, issues for, like, bullying and stuff like that, but, um, when the racist thing came up, I was surprised because, um, we are,
kids were being hurt. And at that point, I was like, well, that's, I mean, that's not good. Like, if she's fucking around, then, like, I'm going to go tell her and let her know. Like, you're hurting, you're hurting their feelings. Like, you need to address that. So, um, no minority in the house could, like, I was racist at all. House um, comments that I made um, were, definitely came off that way because I said really stupid shit, but nothing came from a place of hate. Danny, I like your questions. I'm writing a book about Big Brother. Can I use some of the interview? Yeah, just like, don't ruin me here. Okay. Mm. McCray never made any big moves. That's why America didn't like him. Um, but like, about the entire that you're, you know, too strong of a player and then they'll want to get rid of you. I think that, look, he made it to the final four, so he did something right. I think his, every move that I made, uh, he had a part in it. And to be honest with you, like, with, and we listened to each other, like, and he stood his ground. So, like, when it was, although I totally blame him for this, but when it was Andy and Aaron up on the block and I wanted Andy to go and uh, he wanted... Aaron to go at that point, you know, that was, that was a move that was made by him, but yeah, I don't know. Um, McCray got disliked because he knew Judd was innocent and let him go. Okay. How do you dislike somebody for that? That's like a, that's like a complete, the reason why I, okay, there was more me. Um, the reason why I to go was because uh, Judd started like lying a little bit in our alliance and he was starting like some weird issues with um, with Andy who was in the goof troop and trust him anymore. Like he, I just like, I loved Judd. He was one of like the closest males uh, in the house who I was close with. Um, at that point I couldn't trust him and I know control over Aaron and um, he was a wedge in that for me, and everyone loved Judd. So Judd was on the same level as an Andy. Like everyone loved Judd, no one disliked him. So I had to plant the seed with a lot of people that Judd needed to go because he was being needy and playing all parts of the house, and um, and uh, it was purely game because. Uh, the Judd eviction was definitely the most difficult for anyone, but you can't hate anybody for that. That was just like, it's a game move. Um, Uh, what happened to the much talked about Minnesota Christmas video? I think that there's there's so much footage on the GoPro that we were like trying to to get it here to get it edited and really said to be posted on. Um. Are you surprised, P. Jo P. Jones 102, are you surprised so many hate Andy? I was so surprised so many people hated Andy. Um, if you knew Andy and you he is like the entire world. And um, yeah, I thought, I like, I literally thought, I'm like, everyone's going to love Andy. Andy's going to be like, whatever, but he... 
kid, then I don't really feel as so everyone's like, they're like, how do you make candy? Um, I love Danielle Donato, Miss Love to Blog. Uh, so who knows? Who knows? And I'm going to unblock you right now. But be nice to me. I only block people who are mean. Miss Love to Um, okay. I'm not sad. I'm just honestly like a uh, rainy day woman. I'm just focusing on my work. Like, yeah. I definitely, uh, lost who I was coming out of the show and um, you get a lot of like attention from people and it, and especially like if you live in a small town like people really um, inflate your ego I guess it is and I'm just getting back to work and getting back to my real life and it's hard to do that it's hard to be the best and um, it's hard to uh, ignore the hate and all of that but it comes with I didn't realize but it comes with the uh, territory um, bye summer Ninety-nine. Uh, okay. There's an Alyssa interview. I'm told to ask if you're going to crash it. I have never seen an Alyssa interview. or suffering from it a lot differently than other people. Um, it's weird having so many people dislike you who you don't know, you know? And it's hard. Talk face to face. Like, I think that this is a hater right now. Hello? I thought that you called for, for calling me all Yeah. No, I didn't. That was somebody fucking else. You didn't call me and apologizing uh, for... What the fuck are you talking about? Fuck no. Racist cunt. So why do you call me from a no-caller ID? Why don't you call me from your number? Because I don't call people that abort babies to be on... Um, did I did I say something to you that um, hurt your feelings? Yeah, you did, bitch. Over the whole fucking summer. What did I say to you that hurt your feelings? You're a racist bitch. What did I say that? But is there anything that I could address that I can address with you to have? Is there anything that I can say or? address that I said that affected you, that you're so angry? Do you feel better now? All the time. I don't even know how they got my number. And always called me from an, a block number. I never answer her phone call, but she always like leaves a message, and I figured I'm on a Twit cam right now. There's two that. 
two hundred and thirty people who could see like yeah but she loves that like people think that like what i did was so bad you have no idea of of what i go through now because of like honestly i said some really shitty things to Alyssa. i did but to be honest with you signed up to watch it and look at it and um and if everything was just happy and no fights and fine then there would be no show but that's the show the show is meant for you to go fucking nuts and go crazy but these people it's just too far If I said something that offended you, that you have so much hate, tweet at me every single day. That address it because it's just not, it's not fair. It's not like I'm giving you the opportunity, like talk to me, tell me what I can like tell, talk to me. And the thing with this person who calls me all the time and calls me a racist, I'm not even, I, I don't hate. I don't know, to call me. I get it. Like, I, I never watch the live feeds, but I get it. I understand. For the summer, I guess people have, um, it's like a, you feel like you're there, I would guess. I, I don't really know, but like, from watching Homeland, it made a rather um, analogy when she was, him because she she saw his every move and everything that he did she got to see him in fake mode and in real mode and that's what you guys got to see you got to see all of us several times and this Um, I spoke to Aaron today, uh, I think cause I was a realtor before it was easier for people to find my phone number, but she knows anything like that. So, uh, the GM gets phone calls every once in a while. So. Miss Love to Blog. I'm friends with whoever I want to be friends with. And, um, but you don't have to be friends with, with you know, people you don't like. Um, And that's okay. You can bring all you want to, but for like one second, put yourself in her shoes or in my shoes. Like, I didn't know that much about Big Brother. The life he. Show. And then I watched every single season nonstop since all stars since season seven and i didn't i didn't realize I wasn't prepped no one told me what not to do for real estate like five years prior like i didn't understand uh i didn't un i just didn't understand like i didn't i didn't get it and um I think that was the same with Aaron as well, but again, we come from really different backgrounds and I think that we express um, ourselves differently, but uh, she's not a bad person.
I'm glad that you guys got to saw, see that the phone call though. Like I get that all the time. And the funny, the weird thing is, is that that person apologized to me. Like she called me and I was actually pretty like sympathetic or like empathetic with her. She called me and she said she is an educated black woman and things that I had said on the live feeds had offended her. And, um, I thought that, you know, through all the interviews that have addressed the racism, I thought that I had addressed that and addressed the fact that I definitely said things that, um, were offensive and by no means did I ever want to hurt anybody. So I apologize. There was, there's really, um, not much else that I can do, but. me from a block number so i can't block her um okay what was your first impression of mccray i thought he was a freaking nerd and before the live feeds were on we were all walking through the house like that weird scene just like isolating himself like that's exactly what he did and um i'm very like uh captivated by that i'm, I'm captivated by different personalities and the fact that he was isolating himself i feel like he was trying to pull an ian so I sort of like followed him a little and um, we had a very brief conversation and I remember the first time that I knew that like me and McCray had connected was at the bathing suit photo shoot and uh, I was making some like sexual comments and uh, he was like the only person mm. laughing at it. So mm. she's calling again. Should I answer? person who's watching stop calling me it's crazy um were you embarrassed when they showed the dirty bedroom on cbs it wasn't my dirt that was spencer and mccray and i and when they showed that we had just cleaned it up like two days before so they took like a shot of the room like a couple of days before but yeah it was disgusting that room, that house gets super, super disgusting. So, um, especially after like Helen was evicted, Helen was like the best cleaner ever. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty gross. Um, okay. Shawnee Meister, who do I attack? That you don't like I feel like I don't really attack anybody I feel like I defend myself I thought I tried not to I did try not to I just try to keep track um, no Spencer never washed his sheets I washed his sheets once which is really freaking gross but He's used to a woman taking care of him. Um, talk about Judd and Jesse. You need to ask Judd to talk about Judd and Jesse. It's, it's none of my business. None of my business. <laughs> Answer it and give her my number. I will verbally kill her. Danny, oh my God. <laughs> That's really funny. Thank you. Um, when you first entered BB House, was that actually the first time seeing people? Um, the first time you see anybody is final casting, and they put you in a warehouse on the same lot that the house is in, and you have to sit silent, and you're, um, and they follow you in in like these big large buses, and you sit. And I remember seeing Aaron, I remember seeing Caitlin, I remember seeing Helen, and. Um, I remember seeing McCray. I remember seeing Nick. I remember seeing Andy. Uh, so they call you in one by one. Andy was the first one to go in, uh, and they call you up and you wait and you go um, and you do like your interview. And then uh, I remember as Andy's walking down the stairs, I'm walking up the stairs and we like smiled at each other. And I went in. I was the second person, and um, there was about I'd say like 50 of. 50 of us there. Um, 
and that's the first time we see anybody. I remember seeing Caitlyn and be like, oh my god, he's so skinny. No one over him. And I remember they called in Aaron like a bunch of times and they only, like, they, um, they, I think they really called everybody in like once, but they called her in like three times. And then I remember, um, so we were in there for like hours and I remember I kept taking cigarette breaks because I wanted to see who was outside. Look, I was playing the game before I was even on the show. I wanted to see who was like outside of the, um, big warehouse thing. And uh, I didn't know who Don Wallman was at the time. So, uh, I'm outside smoking a cigarette and Don Wallman comes up to me and Don Wallman is the voice of who says like, you are not allowed to talk about production. He's also an executive producer. And uh, I remember smoking a cigarette and he always wears a jersey. I remember him walking up to me and saying, um, Amanda, I want to let you know I'm in your corner. Like these big blue eyes. He's like in his like 50s or 60s. And I said, I want to let you know you're making me extremely uncomfortable, but I like you. And that was my first interaction with Don Wallman, who is super sweet and awesome. Um, Summer, I thought you were leaving. How did I stage that? Like, how, how? Spencer just texted me. Hey, Amanda. I'm glad you got the pictures. Hope you are okay. Um, uh, I'm just, all these things usually get archived somehow. I don't even know how. It says stop recording and begin archiving. So I think when I stop recording, it starts um, archiving. Um, oh, these are two of the questions. Uh, one was, did you ever infer from the DR that you were getting a villain edit? I did because um, uh, because they they can lead you sometimes in saying like certain things like, did, did you think that when you saw the girls crawling through the mud that it was like they were slinging dirt or being like just like or uh, you know what I mean? So, uh, I think, yeah, yeah, I got, I think, see, I thought in my delusional head, I thought that I was going to be like a Britney type person or like, I thought I was going to be like the Bethany of big brother. Like, cause Bethany can be crazy, which I absolutely can be crazy. Um, Bethany's way post, um, not Britney. I'm always not a Britney, but uh, Bethany Frankel, and um, and she'd be vulnerable. She makes mistakes. She owns up to it. She's inappropriate. So I thought in my head that that's how I was going to be like portrayed. I didn't think that there was. I really don't think that there's been anybody really like that on the show. Um, but I was wrong. That's not. Mm -mm, that's not how how I was portrayed. Um. Julie's question to Alyssa made it obvious you were a villain. Yeah. But you know, when I was FaceTiming with uh, Robin Cass a couple, or when I was in Chicago, I asked her, I go, did you know I was going to be the villain? She was like, yes. So they know, like beforehand, they know how they're going to spin you. So, um, but it's okay, because without a heel, there's no hero, as someone once told me before. Um, hmm. See, I start, I think Abra Marie brings up a point. I started off being like, I guess like funny and witty or whatever. Um, 
because like they had people like Jeremy to be the villain and like Aaron to be the villain. Um, but, and like Jeremy was like busting out all these comps and everything. Um, but people also like to root for the underdog. And if you're a, a strong player who has, who's not really like, I'm not like the most, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, there's really no, uh, there's really no, no reason for it, but I'm sure the Bubby thing didn't help either. Oh my God, Amanda, I'm going to have to wear clothes the next day. What do you mean you're going to have to wear clothes? You're not going shopping. No. Is that what you're inquiring? Um, no. That is exactly what you were saying. What am I going to wear? You have... So many clothes, it doesn't even fit in your closet. Are you sure? Um, what am I going to Shawnee Meister, you think I had a sloppy game? Shawnee Meister, I ran that oh, game I, until I was I, gone. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, you can wear a scarf. Jeremy outside the house is a completely different person than Jeremy inside the house. Like, he's, like, super sweet, and um, he really takes the time to, like, when we did a signing in, in Judgetown where it was, like, there was, like, over 3,500 people, he, like, literally took the time to, like, really meet and hug. Like, he was literally holding up the line, every single person, and he's just really caring, and uh, he's a really great guy, so he, he's a... He is a beast, though. Like, he is competitive. And I think that, um, you know, obviously, obviously, he was he was playing a game. He was playing a, yeah. Um, what do you think about CBS telling the audience to boo you? I don't think they, uh, bad girl, tra bad girl, ashy. I don't think that they were, they told the audience to boo me, but I don't think that they, I from what I've heard was that um, they wanted you to express how you feel. So if you like someone, cheer for them. If you don't like the someone, let them know, which apparently um, they haven't really uh, done in the past, which it's actually not a good thing because uh, Erin, when she got booed, it like reflected in her actions in the round table because she knew people didn't like her. So it didn't affect me though. Uh, I'm a very like you either like me or you don't like me personality, so I figured that I was gonna it was gonna be like a 50 50. Um, uh, uh, Shawnee Meister, you're you're wrong actually. Uh, Andy did give me power. Didn't give me any power. Helen got a lot of credit. Uh, on the show in the editing, but um, in on the live feeds you'd see that it was me and Andy that was really running the house. Like Andy, I'd come up with the ideas, and um, Andy would get information, and then you know Helen would think that she's doing something, and then run back to Andy, and Andy would like give her a he'd always make fun of be like or so. Um, no, I was there, and I um, until. I left, um, I knew exactly what was happening every single step of the way. I knew every nomination, um, I knew every replacement nominee, and I knew every single person going home, and I knew every single person, well, except for, except for that, uh, the moving company one. I, I just didn't, I didn't know who was voting for who, but other than that, I knew everybody who was voting for uh, everyone, so... And every person who went home was, was the person that I wanted to go home. So if that's not strong gameplay, then uh, I guess we're watching a different game. Uh, I have heard Aaron was not depressed but excited about being hated. True. I don't think anybody's excited about being hated. I think that that's just her um, defense mechanism. You have to think about it. Like, she knows that, like, that's what, uh, besides obviously being a really good uh, competitor that she knows that she's known for the comments that she made on the show. 
So that can't be easy, although it's obviously we have to take ownership for things that we've done. But um, I mean, she's 20, she's 22 years old, you know, so um, she's not excited about it. I just think that that's her way of uh, dealing with, with the hate, which is not easy to deal with. Okay, Shani, I'm assuming that you're a Helen fan because uh, you're speaking like one, which is fine. You could be a Helen fan. Um, you tell me one other person who Howard was going after, which is why Howard went home besides me. And then we can have a conversation. All right. Mm. Yeah, I can't, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about that, Jenny. I don't know about her being excited about anything like that. I don't know. I wouldn't be excited if, if my name was in headlines in a negative light. I don't know uh, where she said that, but. Um, I've already, uh, I've answered the Brandy information, the Brandy stuff. The Brandy stuff is kind of disappointing. I've answered it in other stuff, but I'd rather not like rehash it. Uh, how, what about GM? How does she handle haters? Um, she doesn't handle it well at all. I think that, again, I think that GM is someone who doesn't have any hate in her heart for um, any other races or anything like that. I think that just, she just speaks and it wasn't like, I don't think anything was meant to like really be offensive, but it was. Jim's really sensitive. I'm sensitive. So I know things that are said about her are hurtful. Sometimes you get angry, but in the end, like, anger stems from hurt. And, you know, as soon as the next Big Brother comes along, I'm sure it will ease up a little bit. Um, I liked Erin when she got evicted, but then she blamed Texas. But yeah, she, I think that she's very well aware that that wasn't the best... Um, that wasn't the best excuse that she could have used. I also think that, I think a lot of people think that she was very caught off guard. You have to understand that, like, we have an idea, maybe, what what's going on in the outside world with, like, uh, questions. So, like, we knew racism at one point in the beginning of the show was an issue, but um, due to, like, the live feeds and, and the internet and YouTube, um, it, it was prolonged throughout the entire show, and I think that uh, I think that Aaron was really caught off guard, and she didn't have a heads up, and um, she didn't have a PR team to tell her what to say, and she probably <laughs> she handled it the worst way uh, possible. But again, she's not. It's this isn't her profession to speak in the public eye, to speak to the media, so. Um, As Shady Hero, you called into my show. Would you like to come on? Yeah, I'll come on sometime. For sure. Um, uh, no, Danny, you're right. But I'm not making an excuse for it. But, like, when I hang out with, like, like I hang out with Gina Marie's family. I'm just, and, like, I hang out, like, there are certain people who I hang out with who make just, like, very ignorant comments and don't even realize it just because they're around it. So, um, I don't know. I, I'm not going to make an excuse for what anybody else thinks. I, it's there. I can only speak from, from what I've said and what I've done and whatever. Are you going to Walmart? Uh, where's that? It's nine o'clock. Oh. Um, because I was on it and people wonder stuff, please address Howard. Okay, DJ Jones, what do you want me to address about Howard? Which one? I like to be I'm tired. Um, any big plans for McRae when McRae gets back? Um, he's going to go back to work. And start his life here. 
so um, and his friend is moving down here with him and um, You can say that about Jim, but like honestly, like she was really close with Howard on the show. So if she if she like really felt that, then like people thought I just thought that like GM and Howard knew each other before the show because of like how close they were. So like I don't know, like it's just hard. It's hard for me to see. GM loves everybody. She's like the sweetest. Um, plan was that, uh, I mean, McCray and I have never not lived together, so um, he was going to come down here, try it out, see how he liked it, and he came, and he likes it, so um, now he's going to move down here, his friend's going to move here too, he's going to have, going to get a place close to me, and we're just going to date like everybody else is, and, um, you know, have our space, but be together when we want to be together, and, um, we want to do it like the healthy way. I kind of don't want to live with anybody until I'm engaged and um, and not living and not have like another roommate. So uh, no, we're just everything's on. Goal was so yeah, wins for him and uh, Travis. Oh, yeah. Wait, our TV is coming on. It's nine o'clock. Hi, Shawnee. Thank you. Um, okay. I didn't realize how bad the pink bathing suit was until everyone else told me. So, I I missed myself when I got an ice pop. Sugar free. Okay. Mm. I hope to visit soon. I speak to him every day. Um, we're really close. As long as I just don't talk about <laughs> him and anything else, we're fine. Uh, but I, I love that. It goes so good. I get it, Shawnee Meister. Bye, Amanda. I'm listening to Alyssa instead. Koala strong. Okay. Um, mm, yeah. I know. Doesn't this look, it's really good. And I don't even want like orange, it's the ones that are left over. So, um, my skincare routine is I, every day I wash, I rinse my face with water so I don't look like I'm sleeping. And I take a uh, witch hazel and then I put moisturizer on. So, it's pretty simple. The less you wash your face, the better your skin is. It's just, and I'm tanning, so that helps. Um, let's see. like my one piece bathing suit let's get real I'm not gonna get in a bikini for the photo shoot 
when I'm next to freaking like, like yoga body Alyssa and like skinny ass Caitlin and like model Aaron. Like, are you kidding? I'm like fat. Day way I was going to wear a two piece, and so it was like a combination. Like I didn't want to be the fat girl who wore like the one piece, but I was like, it was like half. It was like half one piece and then half like like shredded like side. So I was like, this works, right? It's not like a one piece, but it's like it's so skin. Like it totally worked. Obviously, it didn't work for you guys, but it worked for me at the time. Okay. Um, Juliet, is it going to be difficult not living together anymore? Yeah, it's going to be really difficult. I, I love living with McVeigh, but um, it's. I just find that like when you're in a relationship, it's um, it's easier to like not have. You have to like take steps. You can't just like jump into something and then what do you have to look for? you know so um yeah and i'm i'm really excited for him that his friend is moving out here with him because uh that'll it'll have somebody to hang out with and stuff so um yeah no it'll be fine I don't think I'm fat. Obviously, I walked around the house, and I wish I had more, like, like, I wish I was more self-conscious that I, like, didn't walk around the house while my, like, cottage cheese cellulite legs that I need to work out were, like, hanging out. Listen, I'm very confident, I, but I, I could, I still make fun of myself. But, um, yeah, because then there wouldn't be pictures of my flat ass all over the internet, so... Um, okay. okay, let's stop talking about the fat thing because I don't really think you're fat. But when you have, when you're with somebody who's like 14 pounds, that really doesn't help either. Like he never eats. But yeah. How often are you working out now? Um, I I have worked out like three times in the past week, but I've been eating really good. Um, okay, I did not walk around in granny panties. I walked around in cotton booty shorts because that's what I sleep in. So, shush. Um, you should turn on the Alyssa video and comment on it. Nah. Nah. I don't watch her videos. I just, I don't watch any, and that's not just her. I just don't watch these like videos because I don't really care. The reason why I do this like twit cam and all that stuff uh, is because I want to talk to you guys. I, I mean everyone. The fans, the haters, I want you know any questions, anything. Uh, I obviously don't do it that often because um, sometimes I spill a little too much but um, Thanks, Sea Monkey, dude. That's very, very sweet of you. Who would you be most intimidated to play against in All Stars 2? Probably Rachel, because she hates me. <laughs> uh, yeah. That would be pretty intimidating. Um, yeah. Um, what happened between you and Helen? Um, I just don't, uh, Helen called me and, um, was like, I mean, I guess she was speaking for like Alyssa as well, but like she was just like, I just think that the whole cast, like we should all, all be friends and not spread hate about each other. And like, she's like, 
when Aaron tweets something uh, bad about Alyssa, like you should tell her like you, um, you shouldn't do that or whatever. I'm like, I go, I don't say anything about Alyssa though on, on Twitter or anything. And I don't like favor, uh, negative things about Alyssa or obviously when I first came out of the house, that wasn't the case, but I haven't in months. And, um, but like Alyssa for a while was like tweeting, like not even tweeting, but just like favoriting or just making very like passive aggressive tweets towards me. So like, why am I going to get involved and have Aaron, um, like I'm not Aaron's like mother, like Aaron's going to do what she's going to do. And then, um, then she was just like talking about hate and all this stuff. And then like, I'm, then like someone was talking and I saw this like Twitter person that's named Whale Manda. And I like, I'm like, who, what are they, what is this? And I like clicked on it. And then I saw that like Helen is following someone named Whale Manda. So I was like, it doesn't that just completely defeat the purpose of like why you called me and you wanted to, um, I don't know what it seemed like, I see, I see what you're saying. But if somebody made like a, um, like, fuck you, uh, Helen, or just like a negative, like a very blatantly uh, obvious negative, stop it, um, Twitter name for somebody else, one of my house guests, even if they were my fan, if they were like a hater towards somebody else, I wouldn't follow them because I just feel like that's um, enabling hate. It's supporting hate. And all this person tweets about is me and horrible things about me and which means that that shows up when she's like why would you want to follow like why would you want to see that it's not like she's like it's all about like supporting her and i hate this whole like my i'm not if yes no matter who it is if it was to hate Alyssa, if it was to hate uh, Helen, Candace, Jesse, I will never follow somebody who makes an account to hate people because you're following hate and you're enabling hate and that's wrong. And if you're going to say that you, uh, adult bullying is real and people are being bullied, well, guess what? That person is being a bully and you're enabling it and you're following it and you're supporting it. So that is just the ultimate hypocrisy. And um, I just, I got, I was annoyed with it. Hypocrites, if, if I do something hypocritical, I'll be like, oh my God, that is hypocritical. Like, probably should. But don't, don't defend it. Yes, I follow so-and-so, who is a very blatant hater of Amanda because we're fans. I have thousand Twitter followers and that one follower that is hating on somebody else I could do without. Yeah, but see monkey, when you follow someone and the name is Whale Manda, that's not very subtle. Sorry. There's no excuse for it. I'm sorry. There's not. Um, am I really loud? Mar, am I really loud? No. You, Chubby, can you guys not write? Maggie, I did. Um, Wanna go outside? I um, texted her when she was following Adderall Vulture, and uh, it didn't make a difference. Come on. That's she was still following that person, who was also like a blatant Twitter, uh, yeah. Twitter hater, so. Um, I mean, wouldn't you guys feel that way? Like if you knew somebody and lived with somebody for three months and, you know, me and Helen had a really long conversation, um, after the show and we spoke about her father and all this stuff. And, um, uh, it was just like a really good conversation and just, just imagine like you have somebody who's like a friend of yours and then. I don't know, they follow somebody who's so horrible to you. I, I don't know, there's, I just don't think that there's an excuse for it. 
What did Dan say? Oh, yeah, I saw that he tweeted something like that, creeping bushes. I don't know what he said, but um, if he defended me, I appreciate that. I think that, like, what happens is is that, um, like, Janelle didn't like me on the show either. Like, there's, and I don't, I think, I know that there's other people who I'm friends with now like me when people look at you as, as a character, I think, as, and as opposed to a person, and then, um, and then when they get to know you, then they, they, uh, make their opinions on what they know, so. I was just done, like, holding that stuff in. Like, it bothers me. It bothers me that, that, I don't know, it does, I'm human. Um. I'm really emotional. Absolutely. So, uh, I am confident, but I'm emotional. And I'm very self-aware. So, when I do something wrong, I'll admit it, you know? If I, if I need to apologize to somebody, I will. I don't, my ego, there's no, like, my pride and all that. It's, it's not, it's not, I don't, like, I don't know. I don't attain those, like, qualities that are, like, oh, I don't want, I don't want to make myself look bad. Like, I, if I can make myself already look bad, then I can um, apologize for things that I've done wrong. So. Mm. If I was asked to play BB without McCray, would you? Yeah. I'd be very interested. You know, I think that, although like me and McCray made a really good team, um, I'd be really... I think I would have been a lot closer with girl, like the other girls in the house, if um, because I really am. I uh, I think that I would have been a lot closer to uh, the girls in the house. Okay. Apologize to me for wanting to hit Alyssa with the storage door. Rated. M A L S V. Rated M A L S V. I apologize to you for wanting to hit Alyssa with the storage door. Are you happy now? I, I really hated her at that point. And yes, I was crazy. And I'm really, really glad that it didn't hit her. <laughs> um. She drove a lot of us really crazy. You know, McCray did the same exact thing when Jesse was listening at the door, but no one says anything about that. Just bringing that to everybody's attention. Hmm. You know that evil dick burned Jen? No one says anything about that. Slitterer. Okay. Um... I did. Don K bad. I did. At that point, I was so fucking mad. I hated this girl so much. She had told the world that I'm not even going to go there. I really hated Alyssa at that point. And, um, and I did. I wanted to hit her with the door, but now I'm telling you, I'm very thankful that it didn't. I've never hit somebody in my entire life. And I'm very thankful that uh, she wasn't behind that door when I opened it. But I really wanted to hit her with that door at the time badly. And then pretend I didn't know what was happening. But I very well knew what was happening. But I apologize. I went crazy. I went really crazy. Really, really. Crazy. Yes. These dogs cannot stay on the balcony by themselves when you're not home. What happened? Oh, really? They were like barking, 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 and they were like, besides the fact you should not leave your house with the sliding door open when no one is home. But they were barking for like 
hours. I'm yelling right now. And Linda would just yell at me. Linda's drunk. She's like, I that was awful. All okay, day. Linda left her door open with her dog as door well. Door. So okay, that's fine. But we can't leave the door open. That's fine. You're like fog room level right now. You just said Linda was drunk. And he started slut ever. It was all him. Can't even take any credit. Cool. I need to get my eyebrows waxed so bad. They're a lot thicker than they used to be. I used to feel like I haven't seen any makeup in so long. Let's see if this still works. Has having McCray by your side help you deal with all the hate? Um, no, not really. If anything, it's made it worse because, um, he, um, just says, like, why do you care? And I do. You know, it's like, no, it hasn't helped with the hate at all. Someone heard you talking and goes, rude, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Kelly X out. Funny. LOL. That's Baby right. house that you feel you were at your best. In what way? I feel like... Um, I think in the way beginning, uh, when I, I'm, I feel like I'm always the person who kind of like wants to help the underdog. So like in the beginning when everyone was like really like, I don't even know if this is on my feeds yet, but in the way beginning of the show, people were like brutal to Alyssa. She, there were a reason to, but still, like I still was always telling her, I'm like, I can't really talk to you right now, but no, I have your back. You're going to be fine. I'm going to save you. You're going to be fine. Um, helping her through the beginning of that and having her um, help us in return was was a, uh, was a strong moment. Like, I remember sitting there, when, like, outside smoking a cigarette after we learned what the twist was going to be, and I was like, there's a way around this. There's a way, or just to figure it out. There's a way around this, and uh, we found the way around it. Mm. you yeah if you make fro if you freeze a banana and then you put it in the blender it's like banana ice cream and that's it right but i like the way that you did the other one you cut it up yeah but if you put it in the blender it'll be like ice cream and if you put a little of that that um sugar-free creamer in it yeah yeah and just like eat the cup of banana um
They, uh, I think McCray's on the phone with Spencer right now. He's talking about something. Call Aaron. I just spoke to Aaron. Me and uh, McCray just look at uh, social media differently. Don't say anything. So that's all I'm going to say about that. No, John Worthington, Worthington, yeah. I don't think I would have made it to the end if I won Bolarina because I trusted Andy too much. I think I would have made it to the end if um, I evicted Andy and kept Aaron. I think I had a way better chance because then it would have been me, McCray, Aaron, and hopefully I pulled in Alyssa at the last moment, so hopefully Alyssa. So that made it may could have been our final four. And then, um, <sighs> your take on the GM Nick drama? I think that, you know, it, that ship has just sailed. I think they're very different people. Um, I think that, uh, I mean, it's an obvious. Like, you're Did your parents just see you pick your nose? No. Do you want them to see you pick your nose? Yeah. Yes, you do. Come here and pick your nose. Um, it's very obvious. You don't need me to say it. GM's a very close friend now. Yeah. She's very supportive as I am with her. Um, she's so sweet and she would give you the shirt off of her back. So, um, yeah, we're really good friends now. Do you think people will like you on All Stars? Um, I think people would watch. I think that's what, what is All Stars? Nobody knows. Nobody knows if there is even is an All Stars. It's just all like speculation. And they do that, like, every year, too. I think it'd be the same as, like, uh, like the holiday video. You take Amanda and McCray out of the holiday video, and not only do you have our fans watching, but you have our haters watching, too, because they want to see what we're going to do. So um, I, think, I think people would be interested to see how I react with other people, but who knows? Jenny, you're, you are trying to get me in trouble right now? Um, yes, I do think that Nick used Gina Marie because Gina Marie spoke about him like he was, he was a, a house guest in the house. Um, but uh, I made amends with Nick, and I wish him all the best. And uh, Listen, we're all like douchebags in our own way. That's why we made it onto the show out of like the – Thousands and thousands and thousands of people who uh, participated. There's always there's there's a little douchebag in all of us. So. Uh, amen. Well said. Amen. I I can definitely be a douchebag. When you hear douchebag, I went out on Friday night and I was drunk and I tripped over my little gay man friend, and I was wearing heels, and my freaking elbow like is bruised. And I and me in heels, I'm like 78 feet tall. That was embarrassing. All right. Uh, okay. Are you 
just talks about Jed and Aaron. And there's no romance there. Sorry. New BB fan, 122 Joe. You are like all about the showmances. Um, why did reality recaps allow that? Oh my God, they're going to hate me after saying this. Okay. I completely understand. Um, Rachel and Brendan are a very strong duo in the reality world. They have a lot of pull and they have a lot of fans. And as Janelle Piersna, or however you pronounce her name, said, you don't want to piss off Rachel. I personally don't really care, but um, I guess the night before, uh, the night before the video is going to be released, her and um, I'm sorry, Rachel, Brendan, Helen, and Alyssa told um, told them to if they don't take that they want their video pulled because our video is going to be in there. So if if their video is going to be in the holiday video, then um, then they don't want to be in the holiday video, which was kind of like it was to me it was weird. I was like, really, it's a holiday video for the fans, like really? But um, so I mean, their hands were tied. And at least, like, they, they didn't even want, like, a second video of us to be made at all. Like, they want to strong arm us out of uh, reality television. Um, and so they called me the night before, and they told me, I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, they just don't feel comfortable. And um, I'm sorry, we're going to make you a separate video. And... Um, I was like, oh, that really sucks, you know? Like, it would have been cool to like, be a part of everything, but um, then it released, and um, our videos got like three times the hits. One of them, or their fans, bought them 20,000 views within one hour, which they uh, complained about, obviously. Uh, but I think our video is like not far behind, and all of our views are real, so it ended up being feeling good knowing that like god video with like all of these reality stars including like Brenchel and like Alyssa and everybody and like our video has gotten way more views like from way more people so felt cool if you want to check out that video it's on my blog at theroyalmafia.com uh, I'll never anyone want like no um I'd never be like I'm not gonna do this if like somebody I don't like is on the show because that's what the fans want they want to see that like the interaction of like the heat and the drama um vision B thing B if everything was just so cop copacetic there has to be drama um, I'm not negative towards the prey I haven't said anything negative towards the prey I'm just being honest um, okay let's see they need to address the problem with you if they have an issue or shut the fuck up, you'll my face bloggers or all that jazz. So I am more than willing to talk to any of them and be like, listen, I'm sorry if I offended you in any way, but can we like let this go? Ugh. I don't like fighting with people. It's weird. That's like I don't know. I feel bad for them that like like Alyssa watches like every single one of my interviews. I've, I, I know for a fact that she's gone through almost every single one of my interviews and like can like recite what I said for a fact, 100%. So, um, I mean, if you talk about like, I don't know, and I've not, I've never watched one of her videos ever. I just, I don't like to, cause I'm sure that like my name's going to come up and like, she's going to have nothing nice to say. And like, if someone's not going to say something nice about me, I don't want to watch it. So yeah. Um, I, 
bushes? I don't really know either. There's, uh, there's something, I don't know. I think because of my uh, supporters, I think because I have a, such a strong fan base, um, which, I mean, obviously Alyssa does as well, uh, for some for some reason, I don't know. Alyssa picks and chooses uh, who she wants to be friends with, and uh, I'm not one of them, but, you know, whatever. Oh, really? Is she a boy talking about me? What is she saying? I'll, I'll just say the truth. I don't think I'm talking badly about her. I think I'm just... Um, being honest, right? I can't believe it's only two. It's almost a um, Instead of fueling the hate, why didn't you just not answer the RR question? What does that mean? Tishy wish. Instead of fueling the hate, why didn't you just answer, not answer the RR question? I don't know what that means. Dan Dilgenry, I would never cheat on Lecrae. So thank you for the advice. And um, you guys don't know anything about our relationship, so only what we talk about. Mm. I asked about your showmance and said that Brenchel actually had a man. Memphis are trouble. Uh, reality rally question. What was the reality rally question? It's the Royal Mafia. The Royal R O Y A L Mafia dot com. There's also um, I think my first post was like blog letters, like, oh, I'm sorry, not blog letters. It's the letters that I wrote in Jury T. McRae as well, which is pretty cool. I'm glad I did that. It was, it's awesome. Um, like saying McRae isn't a real man? What? Oh, a real man. It said McRae didn't stand up for you. Um, he didn't. Uh, I think that in real life, it would be a different situation. Or maybe it wouldn't. I don't know what to say about that. Me and McClare are very different. I stand up for everyone and I, he keeps quiet. So we are very different people. Why? Honestly, I don't think Alyssa was was saying anything bad there. She was just saying that he didn't stand up for me. He didn't stand up for me. McCray went on the show to win the show. Um, I don't think Brendan really cares about reality TV. I don't, I think he just did it for Rachel. So, um, again, I don't know anything about them. So it's really hard for me to, um, John Worthington, a real man shows his dick on Skype to a guy dressed up as a girl. I mean, that is true when at least me and McCray weren't engaged and he showed his penis on the internet to somebody else. So do we all just like forget about that? Um, I mean, we've all done bad things. Was that, what did people like blow up about that? Or like, what did the brunch alarm say about that? I'm interested because I wasn't on Twitter at that time, but I mean, that's a pretty big deal, isn't it? Did anyone say anything about that? I mean, I don't care. It is what it is, but that's, that, I mean, that's just, that's not good. Are you still alive? I can, I'm getting tired. Um, What's Google Hangout? Is that where I can see like videos and you guys can see videos? Uh, like, can I just click? Um, 
it's not a competition. Me and McRae are very different than um, Rachel and Brendan. Very different people. Um, and that's that. The only difference is that I made it a lot further than Rachel did her first season. Rachel broke up with Brennan for like a day and then they got engaged. I don't know. It's, it's going in a bad, bad direction. Uh, yes, via YouTube, basically. They go on your channel after. Much better. Okay, so I go to Google Hangouts. I'm going to do this. Okay, so I go to Google Hangouts. So, okay, hold on. How does this work? So this is I don't even know how this works. So Google Hangout. Okay. Google. Okay. Sign in. Is this going to like stop you guys? Okay, no. And it's over, but I'm trying to do this Google Hangouts thing. Okay. Post a hangout. What's on your mind? Uh, nothing. Okay. Okay. Share. Okay, got it. Okay, so now what? I'm going to leave this thing. And thanks, P. Jones 102. Um, I'm going to leave this thing and go to this Google Hangout thing that you guys want to try. Uh, is there anything? You know before I go on it. It's public. I don't know how it works though. How do I invite people? Do I need to invite people? link uh, I have Google Plus oh and then I post the link okay so how do I know I'm so bad at this alright hold on I got this okay um, what does that mean chat screen share capture Control Room, Google Effects, YouTube. Oh, people. Nadir? Okay. Uh, oh, here. Okay. Your post has been shared, so leave this window open so people can join the Hangout. Okay. So... This is a hangout. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this because I want to see some of your guys' faces. But if it doesn't work, then I'm just gonna go. Uh, and that's that. All right. I posted the link. I'll post it on Twitter too. Bye guys. Mwah.